Hey guys, welcome back to another Battlefield video. Today we are talking about Gunmaster. Now why are we talking about Gunmaster, I hear you ask? Well recently, Tigger, one of the lead developers of Battlefield, has been on Twitter again getting us all very excited. Recently somebody tweeted him asking, would we be able to see Gunmaster return to Battlefield 4? To which Tigger replied it would be very cool to see, and maybe in the future. Now I know straight away some of you guys in the comments are going to say and have been saying how is this possible? We already know what we're going to get with the Final Stand DLC, the last DLC for Battlefield. We know the maps, we know the weapons, we know the game modes. So why are we still talking about the possibility of new weapons and new game modes? Well, I do strongly think that we are going to see something new. If you do read through the tweets from Tigger asking guys about the maps they want to see from Battlefield 3, weapons and game modes they're still interested in, I now really do believe that there's a possibility we could see an extra DLC or at least some extra content released between the end of the Final Stand DLC and of course the release of Battlefield Hardline. Now of course so far we haven't been given an official release date for either of these items, but I'm assuming we'll probably see Final Stand released towards the second half of October or the first half of November, and for Battlefield Hardline I'm now thinking we'll see a similar release date to Titanfall, so probably around the middle of March. So that's a big gap between those two release dates, so I'm now thinking in the middle, around January or December time, we could see something a little bit special, something extra coming out for Battlefield 4. So that now leads me back to the game mode Gunmaster. Now I'm going to tell you guys straight away, I was not a big fan of that in Battlefield 3. The game mode joined this series with the second DLC Close Quarters, as well as the game mode Domination, a game mode I still massively enjoy even in Battlefield 4. Now it was pretty obvious straight away that this game mode took a lot of inspiration from Call of Duty, as did seemingly the entire Close Quarters DLC. It was as if DICE were trying to prove they could do Call of Duty better than Call of Duty could. With an entirely infantry focused DLC with game modes like Domination and Gunmaster, it was pretty obvious DICE were taking a little dig at the guys at Infinity Ward. But the problem with this game mode Gunmaster is the fact that Battlefield is inherently a teamwork and squad based game. That's what markets this game, that's what puts this game above other FPS shooters. But the problem with this game mode is it is naturally a lone wolf style game mode, so straight away I just don't think it worked that well in a Battlefield setting. Of course you were working as a team, but if you were trying to get that kill to win the game, not only were you competing against the enemy team, but of course you were competing against your teammates. So you were in teams for basically absolutely no reason, you couldn't even revive each other, give each other ammunition, help each other, so being a team based game really made no sense. So if we were going to see a return of this game mode, the first thing I'd say is make it every man for himself. Have a solo game mode. There is no point in teamwork in a game mode like this. You can't help your team, you're still competing against your team. You may as well give yourself more enemies to fight against and make the game mode move a little quicker. Now something else I know a lot of guys would like to see change because we actually asked to see it put into Battlefield 3 is the ability to change the weapons. Now at the moment, every single weapon you upgrade from is the same in every single game. So if we were to see this make a return in Battlefield 4, it would be cool for the server admins to be able to actually choose which weapons they have so you upgrade. So every time you play this game mode, you're actually using different weapons. Using different weapons. Now another issue I have with this game mode, which I don't really have a solid fix for, and it's probably one of the reasons it wasn't as popular as game modes like Scavenger, which was another multi-weapon style game mode, is the fact this game mode is inherently unfair. If you join this game mode even 30 seconds after a round had begun, you'd be running around with a semi-automatic M9 pistol, fighting against guys with fully automatic M9s and assault rifles. So this is the kind of game mode you have to be in there right from the start, and of course if you want a chance of winning, you have to stay right to the very, very end. This isn't the kind of game mode you can jump in and out of pretty quickly like a game of domination you could join with only 2 minutes left, rack up a few kills and have some fun. If you join this game mode with only 2 minutes left, God help you, because you'll be fighting against players with M16s, assault rifles, sniper rifles, even grenade launchers, while you're running around with just a semi-automatic M9, so that isn't going to be a lot of fun. So that's one of the reasons I don't think this game mode was as successful as other modes we saw joining in DLCs. So to be honest, if we were to see a return of an old Battlefield 3 game mode, as I've told you guys before, I would massively prefer to see Scavenger mode. This game mode, again, still got you using weapons you may not usually use, got you having to change the way you played, the environments you played in as you picked up different weapons, but the game mode was a lot more fair, of course. You picked up a weapon, you used it, if you died, you were just back to a pistol again. So it was a game mode you could hop into, two or three minutes down the line, you could join halfway through, you could leave halfway through, and you could still have a lot of fun. 
So out of these two game modes, for me, Scavenger wins every single time. If we were to see one of these game modes come back, please, please Scavenger over Gunmaster. But that about wraps up my commentary for today, so now it's down to you guys. I want to hear from you in the comments below. What is your opinion? Do you prefer Gunmaster, Scavenger? Is this a game mode you'd like to see make a return into Battlefield? Tell me all in the comments below. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, a like is massively appreciated. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.